give somebody a high five. Tell the person we're moving forward. Oh, tell another person we are moving forward. Hallelujah. It is always good to be in the house of the Lord. And if you are here today, count yourself blessed. Because the Lord is here to meet you at the point of your need. I want you to smile to tell somebody we are moving forward. Amen. I want us to pray. But before we pray, I want to just encourage you. We are still in our month of praise. And I want to encourage somebody. And I exhort you with these few words. That I've captioned. Don't keep silent. Say, I will never keep silent. Or say it again. Hallelujah. Amen. And look into somebody's face, tell the person, don't keep silent. Don't keep silent. Amen. Amen. If you read a book of Acts, Als you book van handelingen leest, chapter 15, Oostuk 15, don't go there, I want to just tell you the story and then when we get to where I want you to read. I want to read. Will I even kort iets vertellen erover? From verse 36 there about. Vanaf vers 36 ongeveer. To verse 41. Tot en met vers 41. It talks about the story. Wordt er gesproken over verhaal. Of Paul and Barnabas. Of Paulus and Barnabas. The preceding verses talks about Paul and Barnabas going on a missionary journey. De they went to do God's daarvoor. work. They traveled to different countries and cities to Vertrouw preach the word of God. Established churches there. Na verschillende landen ging om kerk op te bouwen. Hallelujah. Amen. And they they came back to their base. They 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 rest and then they decided to move on again. Ze kwamen terug naar de basis. Ze gingen toen weer verder. And the one they went, they went with one young man called John Mark. En ze gingen met een jonge man, Johannes Marcus. John Mark was a cousin of Barnabas. Was de neef van Barnabas. And along the line. When they went, and when they went, and the things get a bit difficult, and things try to get out of hand. En toen dingen uit de hand begonnen te lopen. John Mark left the scene. Had Johannes Marcus het verlaten. Every time they go and there's a little bit of difficulty, John Mark will run away. Zou Johannes Marcus weggaan? Hallelujah. I want you to ask somebody, are you like that? Ik wil dat u iemand vraagt, bent u ook zo? Now when things get a little bit difficult in the house of God, we don't see you. That we don't see you. When when it's so cold, then we see you. When it's going good, we see you. When it's going good, then we see you. Are you like that? Bent u ook zo'n persoon? Hallelujah. Amen. That is just by the way. And when they wanted to go again, Barnabas requested. He said, "Let's go and call John Mark and go with him." Barnabas said, "Let's go and call John Mark and go with him." When you read the book of Acts chapter 15, the book of Acts chapter 15, Bible said Paul refused. Bible said that Paul refused. He said, "No, we won't go with John Mark again." He said, "No, we will not go with him." When we go and things get hard, he will leave us. When 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 things get hard, Hallelujah. Amen. Sharp one. Hele serieuze. And Paul got angry. Barnabas got angry. Paulus and they went their own Barnabas different ways. So Barnabas says, "Okay, then me, I'll go here. Dus if you say, go okay, with your mark, and you went to call your mark and, and went with your mark. And Paul Marcus. also said, "Okay, I'm also going another way." And Paul said, "Okay, I'll go another way." That doesn't mean they are quarrelled. That doesn't mean they won't talk again. That doesn't mean they won't talk again. That doesn't mean they won't talk again. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. They are still brothers. They are still brothers. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still should still go on. And the work of God is still and Paulus and from there, in he had a call in a dream to come to Macedonia 
And he went to Macedonia. En toen kreeg hij een roeping in zijn droom dat hij naar Macedonie toe moet gaan. Halleluja. En toen is hij ook gegaan. When you read on to chapter 16. En als je tot hoofdstuk 16 leest. The Bible says he got he went there they spoke to they were able to talk to one woman called Lydia. De Bible zegt dat no ze aan de Lydia in this house. Dat ze een vrouw Lydia. te pakken kregen en haar naam was Lydia. Converted. Asked them to come. Ze vroeg hen om te komen. Constrained them to come to her house. Ze vroeg ze had hen uitgenodigd om naar haar huis And te komen. And after that. En daarna they went out to pray weg om te bidden and do God's work. En Gods werk te that doen. Is Paul and Silas. Dat is Paulus en Silas. After the contention with Barnabas. Nadat ze bij Barnabas waren. And they went their separate ways. En ze gingen hun eigen weg and op. Paul went with Silas. Paulus ging met Silas. They when they went to do the work of God. Waar ze het werk van God they encountered doen. a young lady. Ze hadden een jonge dame leren kennen. Turn your kennen. Bibles with me to the book of Acts chapter 16. Ook nu hebben ze met mij op handelingen hoofdstuk 16. A young lady. A jonge dame. Who has an evil spirit. Die een slechte geest had. It's a spirit of divination. And that spirit looks like that of God. Or that of the Holy Spirit. That, die geest is net als Very de geest van de Heilige Geest. Acts chapter 16. Let's read from verse... Um, 22 and 3. Vanaf vers 22. Go to, I'll go up to 16. 16, 16. Bible says, and it came to pass, I'm reading down, so when I finish you continue. And it came to pass as we went to pray, I sent a damsel, damsel, young lady, possessed with the spirit of divination, met us. The young girl has a spirit of divination. And spirit of divination looks like a good spirit, but it is not a good spirit. Say it is not. You know how to differentiate between the spirit and the Holy Spirit? The person has whatever the person does must go with the word of God. Wat die persoon doet moet met het woord van God gaan. If what a person is doing can you can't find it in the Bible. Als wat die persoon doet niet in de Bijbel te vinden is, dan moet die persoon goed nakijken. These days, the world is coming to an end. Deze dagen gaat de wereld ten einde en dingen gebeuren. I don't know if you have seen this young man. Ik weet niet of je deze jonge man heeft gezien. In the social media. Op de social media. Who is saying that there's no Jesus? Dat er geen Jezus bestaat. And the New Testament is an invention. <laughs> and he looks like he's an orator. He can speak. And he can speak. And he looks like he has studied. And it looks like he has studied. And so when he starts mentioning some names of historians who wrote the Bible, and he says he went to to Israel, and he went to Judah, and the Messiah hasn't come, and the Messiah and me too, I have studied, and I know there is a part of the people of Israel who are still waiting for the Messiah. And I agree that the Messiah of Israel. So you can't deceive me with this one. Met deze misleiden. And he's blasphemy. And he is able to win the heart of people. And people are following him. Winnen. En mensen volgen hem. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Jehovah. Oh, okay. And he says, the lady has a spirit of divination. divination. And she brought her master's match game by truth saying. So she has been telling people things. Dus had mensen When she sees vertellen. you, she can tell you. Als je ziet, kan ze je I saw this, I dreamed this, I did this, this and it is true. En het is waar. And she was making money for her because she's a slave. En ze maakt er geld mee, want ze so is een slave. So her masters, dus she meester, was making money for them. Ze was geld aan het maken voor hun. Hallelujah. Amen. But it is not Holy Spirit. Maar het is niet de Heilige Geest. Tell somebody be careful. Wees voorzichtig. God, these days, when when the moment you hear, hey, he is powerful, oh, then you follow. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 17, the same followed Paul and us. This lady, this young lady, they, she followed Paul and the people Paul went with and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God. Which show unto us the way of salvation. Do you do you see? 
Sie she was saying something right. Ze zei iets goed. What she said is true. Wat ze zei was waar. There are men of God and they are showing the way of salvation. En ze laten de But the spirit in her is not right. Maar de geest in and haar is niet goed. And it only takes somebody who is mature in the things, things of, the spirit, of the spirit to be able to discern and know the difference between somebody who has a spirit of God or the Holy Spirit and somebody who is manifesting or somebody who is displaying the things of God who don't have the Holy Ghost. Maar geen heilige geest heeft. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This young lady kept following them all the time. And she was saying this all the time. She kept saying it and it is not wrong. It is right. But the spirit in her is wrong. And the Bible says, and this she, she did what? Many days. That means all the time she kept following Paul and Co. And she kept saying that these people are God's people. These people are men of God. These people are good people. And they are saying or they are telling us the ways or they are showing us the ways of salvation. But she did it for a long time. Paul was able to contain her for a while. But it got to a time Paul got angry in his spirit. Because though she was saying the right thing, it is an evil spirit that is speaking. And, and, and I am telling myself and I am telling the congregation that if you are here and you don't have a good spirit and you know you don't have a good spirit and you are keeping Keeping it all the time outside ja, before you come here. I know there is coming a time when the Holy Ghost himself will be angry with you. And one day when you leave it, the thing will follow you. And when you get here, you will fall down and confess. In the name of Jesus. If you are here, Als u hier bent, and your duty is to swallow people's prophecy. And your taak is om mensen hun If you are here and your work is to when bent, when prophecies are given, and you, 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 you step into it at midnight to destroy people's prophecies. I announce to you that it will not be long. I am sure that even as we have we are talking about it, it will not be long. The Lord will lift up his right hand. He will lift up his hands of vengeance and he will hit you. And I shall slan. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Paul being grieved, turned and said to the spirit. He said to who? I said the geest. The spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul got angry. Paulus werd boos. And turned to the spirit. And hij draaide zich om naar die geest toe. So that is why some of you you can leave that thing and come. Dus dat is waarom sommige van jullie dat ding And you come and dance with us and go back. Dan dansen met ons en dan ga je weer terug. And think you 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 have won. Nobody has seen you. Je hebt gewonnen en dat niemand je But you see, they say when God picks a stone. God, ze zeggen als God in our language. Nee. When God picks a stone to throw, Wanneer he God takes his time. Om te gooien, dan neemt hij zijn tijd. He's giving you time. Hij geeft u tijd. Tell, 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 tell somebody God is giving time. God geeft tijd. Hallelujah. Amen. He spoke to the spirit and he Sprake commanded. He said, I command thee in the name of Jesus to come out of her. And he came out of out of this out of her the same hour. Paul so, so, commanded to the spirit. And asked the Paulus spirit to leave the girl immediately. Dat hij haar moest verlaten. And the spirit left her. And the geest had haar verlaten. That same hour. Dat zelfde uur. Then the girl became empty. En het meisje werd leeg. Now she can't see anything Ze anymore. Ze kon niets meer zien. Then if you read on. En als u verder leest. The masters of the, this young girl got angry because the, the source of, of their dame, income. Bij de boos, want hun bron van hun inkomen was weg. So they took, they took a decision. Dus ze namen een beslissing. And lied upon them, told a lie. En ze hadden gelogen. That these people have brought confusion. Dat deze mensen verwarring hebben gebracht. And they pulled them into the marketplace, into the city where everybody was seeing them. En ze hadden hen naar de marktplaats gebracht. They started beating them, caused of com commotion. And Paul and Silas were arrested. En Paulus en Silas werden ook gebracht. In fact, they got a beating of their lives. Ze hadden echt heel veel pakslagen gekregen. Hallelujah. Amen. When mob you are is beating somebody, it's not easy. You. By the time you realize somebody has slapped you, if you are you tend to check, 
who slapped you another person. Geslacht. By the time you tell somebody I've hit you here, they beat them. And after beating them, en nadat ze hun hadden geslagen, into prison. hadden ze hun in de gevangenis gegooid. Tell somebody, don't keep silent. Wees niet stil. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't keep silent. Wees niet stil. Because that is sometimes the trick of the enemy to Want let you get too vijand. worried and let dat you keep the cool. Raken, en zodat u rustig gaat blijven. Don't keep silent. Maar u moet niet stil blijven. In that situation, in some situation, I always say, zeg ik altijd, that if it is somebody, dat als het iemand was, maar je komt naar Michel, on ja me, maar je komt naar Michel. If you are not from where I come from, you don't know how to sing. Maar je, say I'm a fly, I will know. Maar je komt naar Michel. Yeah. If, it, if, if it were to be you, somebody, the person would say, zijn, Oh, let me be cold. Zal diegene zeggen, laat me gewoon rustig thinking, blijven. En dan zul je denken, you'll be asking yourself a lot of yourself heel veel vragen stellen. You look at the way you've been beating. Je zal kijken naar de manier waarop je bent geslagen. Think about what, why, why, why should I go through this at all? En denk aan waarom moet ik hier doorheen gaan? Alleluia. Amen. What did I do to merit this? Wat heb ik gedaan dat ik dit heb verdiend? Who is paying me for what I'm going through? En wie is degene die er achter zit door wat door waar ik married? doorheen ga? Paulus was niet getrouwd. Maar ik weet niet hoe het zat met Silas. If he were to be married, you'll be asking. Als hij getrouwd was, zou hij zeggen. Ik heb mijn vrouw gelaten. you say I've left my children. En als hij kinderen had, zou hij zeggen ik heb mijn kinderen gelaten. Look at where I found myself. Kijk waar ik nu ben. Tell three people, don't keep silent. Zeg tegen drie mensen, wees niet stil. Wees niet stil. Wees niet stil. This evening I want to leave this with you. Deze avond wil ik dit bij jullie achterlaten. That in whatever situation, don't keep silent. Dat in welke situatie ook, blijf niet stil. Hallelujah. Amen. The trick of the enemy is to get you and get you discouraged, en ervoor te zorgen frustrate dat u you, push you gaat raken, to the extent that you will, you, you will get duwen, so frustrated. Dat je zo erg gefrustreerd gaat raken. And then you will join the team of I walk alone. En als zul je bij de team horen van de mensen alleen wandelen. In the midst of people you are still alone. In het midden van mensen ben je nog steeds alleen omdat je geen problemen wilt. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell somebody, don't be in that team. Zeg tegen iemand, wees niet in die team. Don't keep silent. Blijf niet stil. Paul and Silas never kept silent. Paulus en Silas waren nooit In whatever situation, don't keep silent. In welke situatie dan ook, blijf niet stil. Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter 6. No, Daniel chapter 11, Daniel verse 32. The B part, I love it. I love it. It says the people the who mensen, know their God put it out kennen. there for me. They shall be strong Ze and zijn. do what exploits. Hallelujah. Amen. The people who know their God, die hun God kennen. I love this scripture. Ik hou erg van the deze people kennen. who know their God Any time I read it I always, I always love it when it, when it personalizes it. Ik my ben God. altijd blij mee als het my zelf God. The people who know their God. De mensen die God kennen. Ik heb een God. Hij is mijn God. Hij is mijn God. Hij is mijn vader. Do you have vader. a God? Heeft u een, va- hebt u, heeft u een vader? Halleluja. If fetish, you know fetish, if voodoo, als believe in mensen, their voodoo, believe in, their, voodoo in the power of the voodoo. En de kracht daarvan. And can put their hands on their chest and do some things. Believe in your God. Dan moet u ook geloven in uw God. Hallelujah. Amen. Believe in your God. Geloof in uw God. Don't keep silent. Niet stil blijven. Today I came to talk to people who are getting tired. Vandaag ben ik who are te getting te frustrated. Whose hands are getting weak. I came to tell you don't keep silent. Still continue to talk to him. Blijf tot hem praten. Amen. Let me end. 
that in the book of Daniel. Daniel. Daniel chapter 6. Of success. When you start from verse 1, As you lees vanaf vers 1, King Darius decided to choose some people King Darius besloot om mensen te to do kiezen, certain special jobs in the palace. Om bepaalde speciale dingen voor hen te doen in het paleis. And the people he chose, Daniel happened to be one of them. En de mensen die hij koos, Daniel was And he selected three people to be on top of the people he chose. He en hij chose. had drie mensen uitgekozen om daarbij te zijn. And those three top people, Daniel happened to be one of them. And three men, so Daniel was one of them. And if you read the Bible carefully, you notice that among the three top people, Bible says Daniel was exceptional. Van die drie mensen was Daniel. Because he has an excellent spirit in him. Hij had een hele goede geest in zich. And the guy was a slave. And the man was a slave. He was a captive. He wasn't coming from that place. Hij kwam niet van die plek. He got there as a result of war. Hij kwam daar vanwege de oorlog. But the guy has a God. Maar die man, het and man he knows God. his God. En hij kent zijn God. Amen. <coughs> if you read, if you read the book of Daniel, I Als think Daniel one Daniel or Daniel lees, three. I've forgotten. I think Daniel one. When they were, they were also chosen by King Nebuchadnezzar to do something, and they were asked to be saved. Ze werden ook gekozen door koning So that they would look nice and good. I think for about some, some days. And Daniel said me, I will not eat the food the king is serving. Daniel said, I will not eat the food the king is serving. The man said, if you don't eat, I will be in trouble. Daniel said, don't worry, give me 10 days. I will not eat that food. Look at me after 10 days and look at the people you give them the food. And look at us, see the difference. And look at the people who eat well, and look at the difference. Tell somebody, don't keep silent. Zeg tegen iemand, wees niet stil. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter 6 that after, when they were chosen and Daniel was on top of the tree, the rest of the guys got jealous. So they decided to to chook. You know? Say chook, chook. Yeah. They decided to chuk chuk Daniel. Om Daniel te steken of. And if you read Bible carefully, Daniel chapter six, because of that, I'm just telling you the story. Bible says they tried and tried, they didn't get anything. And they couldn't get anything. To say against Daniel, and and search the things of his God. The things of his God. I wish that would be said said about me. Unless they find something against his Christianity, they will not get him. They tried everything they can get him. So they sat and conspired. And they decided to go to the king. And they went to tell the king, the king Darius, you are a big man. You have to make a law. That nobody for about three months, nobody should pray to anybody. Talk to anybody. Except you. Give whatever you need. What you And anybody who will who pray to anybody else or make a request to anyone. That person punishment should be very grievous. The king did not think about it and he did what? And the king that he had written. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says when Daniel noticed that it has been signed. I love that part. Daniel chapter 6. Let's go to verse 9. Look, make time and the reading Bible. Bible is good. Read it. It will strengthen you. It will let your faith be strong. It will not allow things to just weigh you down. It will not allow things to just weigh you down. Daniel chapter 6 now. Wherefore the king Darius signed the writing and the decree. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house. When Daniel heard that, that the king had signed the decree, that the king had signed if it would be somebody, you, you hear they say, they say, they say, they say you had. Have you heard? They say. He went into his room, or his house, and his windows were open. Oh, his windows were open. 
He went into his house and opened his window in his chamber toward Jerusalem. And he kneeled down, kneeled upon his knees three times a day. And did what? Tell somebody, don't keep silent. Tell somebody, stop keeping silent. Stop murmuring and crying. The man is still listening to prayer, he's still answering prayer. He's ready to hear you. Don't keep silent. Don't get worried. Don't murmur. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, you've been praying. Yes. Continue. Pray till Jesus comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When Daniel heard that it has been said. When he entered into his house, he opened his windows. So you see him well, well, well. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He knelt upon his knees three times a day and he prayed and he gave what? Thanks. He didn't only pray. After prayer, he was doing what? Hallelujah. Amen. After prayer, he gave thanks. He praised God. He sang. He jubilated in his house. Before his God. As he what? As he did what? As he's been doing all the time. He didn't stop. I stopped to meet. Hallelujah. Amen. And because of the situation, because of that, because of this, uh, um, even these days, I, I can't pray very well. I haven't prayed about that. But in this situation, how can I pray? Hey! Don't keep silent. Basically, still. Daniel opened his window. Knelt down. Prayed. I bought. After that, he gave up. If you go to the book of book of Acts, chapter 16. Als u naar het boek van Handelingen 25, 26. Let's read that part. Then we start. Okay, you be on your feet. Let's read that that part. Daniel 16, 25, 26. Acts, Acts, Acts. Why? Because of the instruction that was given. And not only that, they have to put their feet and their hands securely in stocks. Abba. Double, double prison. Do you understand it? You put the person in prison, he's not mad. He's not running, he's not fighting anybody. He's not doing anything. You put him in prison and you again put his hands. Ah! If you put somebody in prison, don't you leave the person? Als iemand in de gevangenis dan moet je diegene gewoon laten. It means that if you wee wee, you have to say please. Dat betekent als je niet wee wee, als je niet ik moet plassen. Before they will release your legs and your hands. En voordat ze wee wee, als je niet schrok maakt. You can't move, you can't do anything. If if they lock you like this, als je opstaat, you have to be there like that. Dan moet je zo blijven. Till they come in. If they don't come in, if you are like this, you are like that. You understand me? Have you read it before? You've heard it several times. Beat them. After beating them, put them in inner prison. And not only that, they put their feet and their hands in stocks. Chain them. Ah. Tell somebody, don't keep silent. No matter your situation, don't keep silent. Don't keep silent. Don't get tired. Don't be worried. I know sometimes it's not easy, but don't keep silent. I know sometimes it's demoralizing. It's frustrating. But don't keep silent. Hallelujah. If you can't pray, praise. If you can't pray, pray. Praise him to bid, and as we can bid him to praise him. Hallelujah. And at midnight. And at midnight. When everybody is doing. When everyone is doing. Still in the stocks. I am sure they were even using the the chains to make sound. Can't help. Can't help. Can't help. Can't help. 
praise their God. Put their feet and their hands in stock. But they didn't cry and say, Oh, what have we done? What did we do wrong? God, why? God, why? God, why? God, why? God, why? That is somebody's God, somebody's prayer. The moment he starts praying, oh God, when? God, when? God, when will you deliver me? God, when? God, when will I also give a testimony? God, when? Hallelujah. Ask somebody, are you like that? At midnight, Paul and Silas said, Heavenly Father, my Father, my Father, my Lord and my God, you are a prayer answering God. You said in all things we should give you thanks. We thank you for where we are now. That we know that you are a miracle working God. You are the one who spoke to the sea and it became silent. You are the one who opened the, the, the Red Sea into two. You parted it into two. You are the one who stopped the sun from moving. You are all more all powerful. When you speak, they are here and amen. And they began praying and speaking to God. They spoke to him. Bible says they spoke to God. They prayed. They prayed, they prayed, and after prayer, they lifted their voices. Tell somebody, don't keep silent. I said, pray. If you can't pray, do what? Praise. Don't keep silent. Sometimes we live our Christian life to be too dry. Too dry, too dry. Nothing of God is in you. Am I speaking to somebody? If you don't come to church, you don't sing, you don't praise God, you don't pray, you don't read the Bible, you don't do anything. Look, I read a scripture in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 12, verse 23. It's my own definition though, but I think it is right. Let's go there, let me tell you something, and then we pray. 1 Samuel chapter 12, 23. I think it was someone who was speaking. He says what? Moreover, as for me, God forbid that I should do what? Sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. So, in my own definition, I am saying that prayerlessness is a sin. Because someone said, I don't want to sin against God by not praying. 